So uh, starting off uh, day two with a uh, nice short little 10 minute interval workout. Starting off pretty much every workout with these 10 minute intervals these days. Yeah, 10 power snatches, uh, 35 for the guys, 25 for the girls, and seven burpees. Just enough reps and enough weight to kind of work a sweat up over the course of the 10 minutes, but not so bad that you start off completely gassed. Just a great way to prime the body, get the heart rate up, get it ready for the more high intensity stuff to come, and get set to go for the next piece. 30 minute workout, uh, three different movements, just a good bit of volume. to go. There we go. That's the morning done. Oh, accessory time, but the afternoon's not going to be fun. I saw. I thought it was going to be good. I don't know what I did, but if I hurt the palm of my hand. I don't know if it was coming down and touching or. It feels so weird. Should be alright, but you always get like little things every workout. Something small, something small. <laughs> be alright. Like, like this. It looks. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. So uh, we did a heap of clean and jerk on Friday, and initially I wasn't going to train Friday ahead of the camp this weekend, but couldn't help myself. So then yesterday with um all those hang power cleans in DT. Like, it's just ripped up. Have to take some time off that. Lucky Gemma's here. I'm gonna have to show her photos and she'll be like, what the fuck, who's been sucking on your neck? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. 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 All right, guys. Wrap that up. Take your stuff away. Now. Whenever we do accessories at the gym with like, at the end of a session and that with all the fellas, all the people that I train with, it's always at a leisurely pace. Get it done, have a chat, hang out. It's usually just like, that's just extra time that we can do a little bit of extra stuff like some hollow rocks and some empty bar good mornings. Really good for the midline, but it's getting to know each other, hang out, have a chat. Ooh. Talk shit, tease each other, like, that's what we do at our <laughs> gym. Off. Yeah, like, you know, sometimes that if there's no one else at the gym, when the classes are on, we're not allowed to do that, get in trouble, but and there's also security cameras everywhere. But yeah, no, honestly, like, use this time to just kind of hang out, talk about the workout that we just did. <laughs>So that's, uh... So that's the morning session done, our morning slash afternoon session done. I think we started in the afternoon. But yeah, so the guys are gonna break now and have some lunch. Then we're gonna come back in, we're gonna finish up like all the talk on mindset and I guess uh, re go from the first talk being about goal setting to actually achieving your goals and the mindset that it takes to achieve difficult goals. And then we're gonna break into one last workout that hopefully the mindset talk gets everyone fired up for because it's probably gonna be the worst one of the weekend. Well, it is gonna be the worst one of the weekend. So uh, yeah, it should be fun.
Just tried to fire everyone up with a nice little mindset talk and uh, leaves us with our last workout for the day, which is um, it's one I've done a few times and programmed a few times. Pretty consistently achieves the result of everyone hating it. Uh, it's 10 rounds each in teams of four, 15 slash 12 cal assault bike, 10 thrusters at 40, 30 RX and five burpees. Kind of low enough weight, low enough skill, high enough intensity to keep intensity high and just, you know, you can make this workout as horrible as you want to make it. The calories have a 30 second cap. So the idea is to force people to sprint through that part of it. And then yeah, just push, push, push the whole way. I'm nervous. I'm excited for this one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they say it's a hard workout. You did it before? No, I haven't done it, but I know like the crew I was talking about in Oslo, they said it was like the worst workout they have ever done. So this is going to be exciting. And Carl uh, did it in Oslo. And yeah, he said it was like the worst <laughs> thing ever. It was fun, yeah? <laughs> fun when it's done. I checked out all life. In a, for 40 minutes at least. No. Big boys on his team yelling at him. Like it's a big guy workout. How you doing there, legend? Feeling we're gonna throw up. Hey? I got a feeling that I'm going to throw up. I wasn't sure if that was German or English. You did so well, man. Like the three big fellas on your team, like moving it's that bike. Terrible. Yeah. Yeah, but you now you're like one of the. Uh, you're now in the team that's done that workout the fastest in the world. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it was so terrible. Yeah. Like my legs stopped working. <laughs> I, there was. No more power. I don't, yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect example of someone fucking giving it their all. Love this shit. They did well, buddy. Shake it off. Go like spin your legs around on the bike if you can. Just let them move. Yeah, but just for the feet. I don't want to puke inside. No, you won't. Back yourself. Ready. Well done. Get a big group photo of everyone. Yes. Then we're finished. Those of you that need to race off can race off. Those who want to hang around and ask questions, by all means, do so. Thank you all so much for the weekend. Uh, it's been awesome. This has been probably one of the most fun training camps I've got to do. But yeah, you guys did really, really well. I hope you all learned something from this, even if it's just one or two things. But yeah, thank you so much for a great weekend. <laughs> <laughs>